What is going on everybody? Hope y'all are doing well. Well, another Monday morning has arrived and that means it's time to start pulling and packing eBay orders that have come in over the weekend. So let's just show you a few of the cool items that we sold. So here we have another one of these vintage US Army M65 military field jackets. These things are not like super rare. I find these somewhat often. And this one sold for 92 bucks. So long sleeves have been selling for me like crazy lately. So if you have jackets and long sleeves, make sure you're listing them now. Now's the time to be selling them. This is a really cool sale. This is a vintage Mountain Hardware 100% goose down puffer vest. This thing's in really great condition. It's definitely from the 90s and it sold for 55 bucks total. Mountain Hardware, they make some very high quality stuff that can go for good money. They also make some kind of lower end stuff that doesn't sell for so much anymore. But yeah, still a really good brand to look out for. If you see Mountain Hardware for a reasonable price, definitely pick it up. So this is a pretty quick sale here. I just bought this USS Reliant Star Trek vintage uh, model at a yard sale about two weeks ago. Paid, I think about $6 for it. Listed it and it sold within a week for 50 bucks. Even with the box damage, it is still sealed. So pretty cool. And we're gonna get this shipped out today. And this last sale deserves a little bit of extra attention as it's one of my biggest flips of all time. So let's take a look. Here she is. So you may remember this shirt from a previous video. Lena and I found this at a thrift store for $5 in Arizona. This was before we moved to Ohio. And this is one of the coolest Disney tees I think that you can find. So this is an early 90s, you can see the tag there, uh, Disneyland t-shirt. It's a one size fits all single stitch on the top and the bottom and it's just an absolutely crazy all over print five dollars at a thrift store if i remember correctly this was at a small mom and pop thrift store where they pretty much sell all the valuable things on ebay and everything else kind of goes out on the floor there are a couple different variations of this shirt there is a disney world and disneyland version you can see the famous castle there as well as this amazing all over print fireworks you've got the skyline in the background so this shirt I sold for just under 600 bucks, making this, I believe, my biggest flip of all time. So I have to give Lena credit as she did find the shirt, but pretty crazy. So I actually had this listed for closer to $1,000 on eBay. Somebody sent me an offer. I thought it was reasonable. I did do a little bit of research before accepting the guy's offer, and it looks like that shirt hasn't really sold for anything above 700 bucks in the past year. So there was a point in time during the pandemic where Disney shirts were at an all-time high, People were paying absolutely crazy amounts of money for them. I think that this shirt would have probably sold for over a thousand bucks at that time, but I'm happy to sell it for 600. It's a crazy flip, $5 into 600. So since this is such a valuable item, I am gonna take a little bit of extra precaution when it comes to packing and shipping. So I'm definitely going to put it in a box, even though it is a t-shirt. I'm also going to pay for the extra insurance. And then last but not least, I'm going to require uh, the signature of the recipient. So that way it just ensures that they actually do receive the item and it, uh, it lessens the chance of anything weird going on uh, with the deliveries. So I'm here in the thrift, nothing crazy, but I did find this TI-84 Plus calculator for $3.99. These things sell super quick. And then this is kind of cool. I found this bag of old tech decks. There's a lot of like blind skateboards in there. So for $3.99, I'm probably gonna pick this up and take a gamble. A couple new racks just came out. Just found this really nice Carhartt Pearl Snap long sleeve shirt, great condition. Also got this amazing vintage Ohio State jacket just in time for cold weather. Check out the back. Freaking sick. So they were freaking rocking out in that Goodwill with loud music, so didn't really want to talk over it. But uh, yeah, let's take a quick closer look at that Ohio State jacket, because that thing is awesome. And here's the back here. The big embroidered spell out, the really cool vintage OSU Buckeyes logo. This thing is sweet. Perfect timing for fall. It's on a uh, Nutmeg Mills tag. This is awesome. Really like this thing. Size XL. We'll take it. It was seven bucks. Well, you guys are having some good luck today. Got a vintage Cincinnati Reds new air cap. It's actually made in USA, so this is an older one. Vintage Cleveland Brown snapback, new with the tags. There you go. And this is the coolest one. Logo Athletic, brand new NASCAR snapback. Got the little Hot Wheels logo on the back. So cool. Got this really cool vintage Wrangler denim jacket. It is pretty small, but awesome tag made in USA it's only three bucks 
And on top of that, I got this 1999 Final Four Ohio State Buckeyes NCAA basketball t-shirt. Pretty sick. Another bread and butter item. This is a TI-83 Plus. It's very clean. Two bucks. Goes for like 25. Got this really cool pair of Adidas. Never heard of these before, but they go for like 40 to 50 bucks and they're only six bucks. So I'm going to get these. The DVD VCR combo down there. We've got a Nike ACG jacket for nine bucks. Got this older PS1 Sony controller. It is like the charcoal kind of translucent version. Two bucks, they used to go for like 25. Well, that's pretty cool. It's not every day that you find vintage snapbacks from the 90s, new with tags, let alone multiples. So heck yeah, I will take it. It's weird, they had them marked at $8.99 and then they had them crossed out to uh, $4.99, each one of those hats, which I think they just put them out on the floor. So I don't know if they had second thoughts about selling them for nine bucks or what, but I snagged them up really quick. I saw the one logo athletic hat from like halfway across the store hanging on the, the hat rack and I, I just like sprinted over there and grabbed it. That's like a 50 to $60 hat, I believe. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool. That's a really competitive store. I go there like five times a week probably just because it's right by my house. And pretty much every time I go in there, I see like the same resellers in there looking through stuff. So you kind of just have to get there at the right time. But honestly, with reselling, that's kind of the way things go a lot of the time. It's just the luck of being there. Of course, you definitely increase your odds by, uh, you know, having the knowledge of what's valuable, knowing what you're looking for. So that way, when you see something, it just jumps out at you but half of it is just being there at the right time. So I don't pick up a lot of puzzles these days, but this one looks pretty good. So it is sealed brand new. The brand is Ravensburger. Looks like they have a ton of sold comps of this brand. And specifically, it's a Disney Villains puzzle. So pretty cool. It's, uh, it is a little pricey, seven bucks, but there is a sold comp for 50 bucks. And then there's a couple for like in the forties. So I think I'm gonna grab this one. A couple more decent finds. This is my first time finding this brand, Hey Dude. Uh, in storage. It's actually a pretty good brand. So it's six bucks into like 30. Got this pair of Skechers Goga mats. I only picked these up because they're in great condition, but for four dollars, these sell pretty good for me, like 30 bucks. I always sell Skechers. And then this Thrasher magazine hoodie for four dollars should go for about 30 bucks. This is really cool. So this is a Vincent Van Gogh vase with 12 flowers art t-shirt. Paris, France. Definitely gonna pick this up. I don't know if it's like just look, looking at like how thick the collar is, it feels pretty old. It's not, it's not single stitch, but I'm thinking it's probably kind of old. So I'm definitely gonna pick this up. Really cool print. Woo! It's cold, y'all. Fall is officially here, but we're still yard sailing. I don't know how many more weekends of this we're gonna have left. So I'm trying to get out as much as we can. Stopped at the first sale, moving sale over there. Uh, there wasn't really a whole lot I wanted to buy, but you gotta break the seal. So we bought a few things. For two bucks, I don't think this is gonna really be worth much, but this Mr. Potato Head little kit here, it looks kind of cool, it's from 2006. I picked up this Olympus recorder for a buck. These things, probably 20 bucks or so. And then last but not least, probably the coolest thing I got is this military belt. It's like an older army belt. It's got the canteen, it's got this really cool flashlight, little pouch here. Probably not worth a lot, but paid two bucks for that as well. So we're on the board for the day. Got this big old Gerber knife for two bucks. This thing's pretty cool. Got like a, another uh, like big old camo knife. Frost USA is the brand. I don't know if it's really worth much, but for two bucks, pretty cool. And then this old vintage flying dragon knife, stainless steel. Probably not worth a ton, but I bet you I could get 15 or 20 bucks for it for a dollar. And then for two bucks, I picked up this floppy bass. It's like a hitch cover. It's vintage. It's never been opened, but it's a largemouth bass hitch cover. So it goes for like 25 bucks. So overall, not, not so bad. Nothing like super cool, but I'll take it. So I wasn't really expecting a whole lot as far as yard sales go, just because we are into fall and you know, yard sales are more of a summer thing. But uh, I did find this Gerber knife here, picked it up for two bucks. Wasn't really expecting it to be worth too much just because I have owned some Gerber knives in the past. You can buy this brand at a lot of your big box stores like Walmart and stuff like that. So they have some lower end stuff. I know that they have some higher end stuff as well, but wasn't expecting this to be super valuable. But it turns out this is actually a discontinued model. This is a Gerber Steadfast. It's a six inch blade if I can get it out of here. So yeah, the original sheath. This is a six inch blade and they don't make this model anymore. So I think that's what makes it valuable. 
There are several sold eBay comps within the past 90 days, ranging from like 140 all the way up to $220. So that's pretty incredible. I couldn't find one listed on eBay right now for below like $180. So I'm listing mine for around 200 and hopefully it will sell pretty quick. So a very pleasant surprise. This is gonna be worth a nice little chunk of money. Definitely keep an eye out for knives at yard sales. I'm just now starting to try to learn a little bit more about this category. I think it's super interesting. I don't really know a ton about it yet, but I'm definitely learning. And uh, yeah, I guess Gerber, add that to your list of potentially valuable knives. Everybody's favorite holiday store, Spirit Halloween. Hey, pumpkin heads. We're at a dead mall and this is Spirit Halloween. <laughs> Coming to <laughs> an abandoned store near you. Spirit Halloween, baby. Shaking in my platform boots. <laughs> oh yeah, one of my favorite horror movies of all time, Child's Play. Lena, what if I was just adult Chucky? That's so fun. <laughs> hey, look, they have the sweater right here. I would actually like to be Chucky. Well, you're either gonna be Chucky or a clown with me. I'm a clown. I'm gonna be it. So I need red face paint. Oh look, there literally is it right there. Where? Right here. Okay. I need red face paint. Here you go. Yeah, Cosmetic I have to kit. get that. Look, they have what else do clown I suits. Oh yeah, and then for our market on the 22nd, we are dressing up and I'm gonna be a mouse. I'm a mouse, <laughs> duh. Let's go in here. So you are going to be a clown, right? I'm gonna be it. You're it. Yeah. Are you it or just a clown? I'm it. Okay, it the clown. So I'm probably gonna be a clown too. I think I might get maybe this this one. I love that one. They also have this they one. They also have the other colorful ones. Oh, look at this one. Blacky mole clown. This one. <laughs> So we're back home, Spirit Halloween, always a good time. They have like the same stuff year after year, but for whatever reason, it's always a joy to go to. I'll tell you, Halloween in the Midwest, there is really nothing like it. After living in Arizona for the past four years, coming back and experiencing Halloween again, it's just a lot of fun. Something about cold weather, the leaves changing, all that good stuff. It's just a good time of year. So I did pick up a costume. I got uh, the creepy clown. There were like 15 different clowns to choose from, but we settled on this guy. I don't think I'm gonna wear the mask. I'm just gonna paint my face and dye my hair and spike it all up like crazy. But Lena's gonna be Pennywise from the movie It. We're gonna be uh, handing out candy for the first time at our house this year, so that's pretty exciting. And we've got a Halloween party to go to, so. Should be a good year. This is going to be uh, the first time in a few years we've actually been able to do some cool stuff for Halloween. So we're excited. So I think that's going to do it for this one, everybody. As usual, we really appreciate you watching. Hope to see you on the next one. Peace. <laughs>